So these may look like ordinary glasses, but they are in fact the extended reality G1 smart glasses and they're packed full of features to give you real-time information within your direct vision. And today I'm gonna to be showing you what these things can do. So full disclosure before we get started though, the video is sponsored by Even Realities and they've sent me the G1 smart glasses for free to showcase to you guys. So if we take a look inside the box, you can see we first get some documentation followed by the G1 case, which also contains the G1 glasses inside it. We then got the USB-C charging cable, the manual, and a cloth to keep the glasses nice and clean. In the second box, we've got the clip-on sunglasses attachment, and this is gonna be great for sunny days. So the glasses themselves look and feel like regular everyday glasses. They're lightweight and balanced, which makes them fit very comfortably on my head. The frame is crafted from a premium magnesium alloy with a sandstone coating, and the adaptive temples are made of a hypoallergenic titanium alloy and silicon. They do feel very well built, and if I compare them with my day-to-day -day eyeglasses, you can see that the G1 are actually much stronger and sturdier. Now they look and feel like normal eyeglasses, there's no wires as it's all a wireless system, and there's even some clip-on sunglasses for when you're out and about in the sun. You can order them in your prescription, so they're gonna allow you to see the same as your normal eyeglasses. And if you don't wear glasses for correction, then you can, of course, order them prescription free. It's exciting to see this technology in a normal pair of glasses, as all of the other ones on the market are big and bulky and tether via wires to your phone, which means that they're not really suitable to walk around in. So what exactly do the G1 smart glasses do? Well, they connect with your phone and show you real-time data like navigation information, you can have a teleprompter, live translation, or even answers from an AI assistant. So the first thing we need to do to get going is download the Even Realities app on your phone. We then need to ensure the G1 glasses are in the wireless charging case, and we can then connect our phone to the glasses. Now the glasses connect to the phone completely wirelessly using their dual sync connectivity, and this uses an advanced antenna design and ensures real-time data exchange between the glasses as well as the phone. Now it's gonna be hard to show you in this video, but I'll be filming the inside of the glasses as best I can. But the best way to describe it is clear green text in front of my usual vision, and it's just floating like a heads-up display. It's really easy to read thanks to a micro LED display with a peak brightness of a thousand nits, and best of all, other people can't see what's on your display. For instance, I actually have a green on-screen display here and you shouldn't be able to see it through the camera. When you're looking at the glasses head-on, you can just about make out the squares for the display, but you can't see any of the green from it. And right now, as I said, I've got text in front of my vision. And as you can see, you would be completely unaware if you were looking at me. And it's only if you look at the glasses from an extreme angle that you can begin to see the text. So the first feature we've got on the G1 is the teleprompter. And this is something that could really come in handy, especially in the corporate world. You get the text to read right in front of your eyes. So you could happily address a room and read straight from the glasses without the room knowing. And this means if there were lots of figures and things to remember, then you wouldn't have to worry about them. And the best thing about the teleprompter is that it doesn't just keep strolling down. The app actually listens to what you're saying and it moves at the speed you talk. So you can speed up, slow down, take big pauses, and basically do anything you want. All right, so this is very hard for me to read because I'm holding my phone in place of the glasses and trying to see it. But it says, welcome to G1. You're holding the first eyewear ever designed to blend stunning aesthetics, amazing wearability, and useful functionality. In even realities, we continuously explore the human relationship with technology, and our breakthrough is a pair of glasses that are unique, clever, and capable, but are still everyday glasses, the ones you'll reach for every morning and want to wear all day. Now in the application settings, there is also an option to make this a manual scroll if that's the way you would prefer to do it, but I've tested the AI and I think actually it works really, really well, so I wouldn't recommend doing that. Next up, we've got Quick Notes, and as the name suggests, it makes it really easy to make Quick Notes. You simply hold on the right touchpad of the glasses and you can then begin speaking. You can record up to 30 seconds of voice notes, which is automatically converted into text and saved under the Quick Notes section in your Even Realities app. You can then look at the Quick Notes in your heads up display, as well as being able to open it in the mobile app, and you can also play the voice of the note back. Now, using the internet connection, the notes are summarized into polished notes. But if you've got no internet connection at the time of recording, then the glasses are just gonna temporarily store the voice data and it's gonna process it as soon as you get a connection. 
So this is a test with the quick note recording. I'm just going to talk a bit to see how it comes out on the app and whether it summarizes very well. So step one, I need to actually record the audio and record it with my phone. Step two, I need to open up the app and take a look. Step three, we can see how well the quick note has recorded. So if I let go now, you'll see it saves it and you should see it in the app. So we'll just wait for that. So if we look through the glasses heads up display, you can see it summarized everything I've said into just a few lines. And we'll also double check what it says in the phone app. So this is what has come out like in the phone. You can see it summarized it into a quick, easy list for me. So step one, record audio with the phone. Step two, open the app to check the quick notes. Three, assess the accuracy of the recorded note. And as you can see, it's done a pretty decent job. We also have navigation, and this is just incredible and probably one of the most useful aspects that I can think of. So while it's easy to use sat nav in a car, whenever I'm on a push bike or a motorcycle, I want to use wireless earbuds in my phone and I just listen to the voice commands of the direction. But now I can actually enjoy my normal cycle and I don't need any earbuds because the navigation is in my direct line of sight showing me where to go. It's also good if you're a pedestrian, as you no longer have to walk around, keep looking down at your phone to see where you're going. Instead, you can just walk forward, enjoy all the sights, and still get that navigation in your view. Next up, we've got Translate. And this is gonna be useful, especially for you travelers out there. And you just set the language the person is speaking, and then what language you want it translated to in the app. And then as they speak, you get a live translation straight in front of your eyes in real time. Now it takes a couple of seconds to do this translation, but if someone abroad is giving you information or directions and doesn't speak your language, then this is gonna be a game changer. Right, so, so I'm just trying to line the phone up where it comes out clearly. So my French is terrible, but we'll just give it a try. So, bonjour, je m'appelle Andy, j'habite à Bristol, le Angleterre. Oh, that was good enough, there we go. Now next up, we've got Evans AI. And for this, you just touch the left touchpad and you can ask it anything you want. And it's gonna give you the answer in floating text right in front of your eyes. Look at it as an AI assistant, but instead of speaking back to you, you'll get all of the answers visually. Now, unfortunately, this AI isn't ready to test at the moment, so I didn't get a chance to test it. But this video here gives you a good idea of what that's gonna deliver. Now, of course, as well as these features, you'll get notifications from your phone right in front of your eyes, which means that you're literally never going to miss a call, message, or email again. Now, the notifications are fully customizable, and you can choose whether the glasses display the messages or whether they just let you know that there's a message there. And of course, you can customize which apps give you notifications and which apps don't. And at any point when you're looking through the G1 glasses, you just look up slightly and it then reveals a dashboard and that's gonna show you the time, the date, the weather, and it also lets you know about any notifications or updates from your calendar. Now overall, I think these glasses have been very well thought out, and it's finally delivering what we expected of the future. We've got a heads up display wherever we go. They've been trimmed down more than enough to make them as good as normal glasses. And as I said, if you look carefully, you can see the displays, but most people you pass in the streets are just gonna assume they're normal eyeglasses. They've already got plenty of features and I'm sure there's gonna be more to come with software updates and the possibilities are gonna be pretty much endless. Now I like the fact that the people around you can't read what's on your display either, so there's no issue with privacy. And of course, for those of you interested and wanna grab yourself a pair of the G1 Smart Glasses, I placed a link to them down in the description below so you can go ahead and check that out now. And of course, if there's anything I've missed in today's video or if you've got any questions at all, then just ask them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech.